What a glorious day to be out and about. And I travel to Cambridge today to film this very special swarf and chips at a company called Maximum Precision. We'll take you on a tour and find out everything that they're doing. So firstly, we're going to be stepping into their sliding head technology. In this room, they've got four stars, all sliding heads, all with bar feeders. And Chris, just come and take a look at these amazing parts that they're making here. So these parts are actually six mil in length. So if you think about the three, three meter bar that's pumping out, how many parts are you getting from 30 bars of three meter bar coming off this machine running lights out never stopping keeps churning 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 them out and yes that's exactly what's happening for all four of the machines so this machine uh, is creating this spectacular part here I want you to guess at home how thick you think this part is I originally thought that it was a piece of swarf off the floor but I was rudely mistaking into saying that this is an actual part it's going to be quite difficult for me to show you but on the inside it's actually got a thread and it's also got a slot in there so with these technolo this te the technology that's on this machine it's just incredible to cut something that small to be intricate and it's also got to live up to tolerances that the customer has asked for so moving down, we're going to come down to this last machine. So it's an SR20 Type C. Another part for us to look at here, Chris. So this is for the oil and gas industry. So as you can see, these are different valves for different sorts of application. And just look at how small they are, the hole going in the middle. It, this just it really racks my brain. And it makes me so excited to know that customers like this are doing such intricate parts and there's a lot of skill and knowledge that goes into them um, so come down as well oh obviously uh, bar feeders as well these parts here are a little bit different so what we've got is a square part with also a, a surface in there four holes um, we've also got if we flip them round you've got a hole with a thread in there and obviously it goes through so it tunnels through so they're not just sliding head capabilities it's also milling capabilities too and now onto the milling section as you can see we've got a load of milling machines in here and what they're doing here is they're utilizing the space of this machine to create more axes so what they've put on here is a fourth axis trunnion I'll give you a little wiggle of that so look uh, this means so they can hit lots of different angles you can hit lots of different faces so obviously with a three axis machine you can just hit the outside in the middle but this one if you've got a piece of material in there you can hit this side this side this side the possibilities are endless with this and this is movable so as we push back and move into the other bits of the section uh, we've got a Doosan here obviously sorry excuse the air because everybody's uh, working the part on here is just absolutely fantastic so let me just open the doors and as you can see this part in here is just a three axis cube as you can see with holes on the holes on the top and then holes on the other side so this one over here is up one this one over here is up two so uh, machine this one first with the bottom on you see turn it over uh, and drill these holes and clear it up the nice thing though about this part is they're using this diamond cutter and what they're doing is they're only using one insert so you can see the uh, insert on this one's gone and they're only using one insert and I hear you ask at home why are they only using one insert look at the look at the surface finish on that how fantastic is that so if we use two inserts then it means kind of we'll get a swirling uh, swirling surface as you can say and these parts that they're doing for their customers have to be bob on the surface finish has to be out of this world and I think it's a 1.6 surface tolerance so that just goes to show how well that diamond cutter works on there 
and also talking about upgrading your three axis machine. Uh, we've also got a four axis trunnion on here, which means you can hit so many different faces. You can do a lot more uh, with your machine. Uh, and also we've got three, uh, we've got two, sorry, vices in there. So you can have your three axis work on there as well and your uh, four axis and look at that. It just opens up so many more opportunities that you can be able to cut parts on here. They've got a couple more uh, mini machines down the back and all this technology has been opening even more doors for them. It's not just milling capabilities that Maximum Precision offer here, it's also turning capabilities as well. So as you can see, the guys are running lights out, machines are moving, constantly churning out parts day in and day out. But there is one person that I'd like you to meet. She's a lover, she's a fighter, and she constantly wets herself, as they tell me. 1986 she was, so I'm 28, let's work out what the difference is. She still goes like an absolute workhorse, and like I said, she wets herself a little bit, but at that age, what can you expect? Behind us as well, we've got some parts here that look really, really interesting. So look at this, so they're turned on this machine behind us. They're then taken onto the milling section to create this, um, I would say, what would you call that? It's a slot, it's a circular slot going round, isn't it? Sorry, not circular slot. It's a uh, linear slot with angles in it. And also it, we've got a part off there and it finishes off with a chamfer on the front. So no matter that she's 1986, she's still got it, girl. So here at MTD, we actually have VIP passes to different companies around the UK. It doesn't cost any extra, but it's always great to get first in line. And oh gosh, actually, it also lets us have croissants and pan au chocolat, not just any, but from M&S. Like, we've been treated today. Other ones are available from different customers, but if they want to sponsor us, then I'll, I'll gladly eat four in a day. So the newest investment for Maximum Precision are these two massive Matsuras. So we've got a H plus 300 with 15 pallet systems. And we've also got an MX 330 with 10 pallet systems. And this one's working away at the minute. This is a fully fledged five axis. And look how many parts that they've got on that pallet system at the minute. If we come round to here as well. Oh, I can open the door. They've got all different parts in here. So we, they don't have to be streamlined to the same parts. So as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five of the same parts on the pallet system. This work holding was actually created by Maximum Precision as well. They actually worked out a system of how best to get the most out of their machine. We've also got little vices for different kinds of work and cylindrical vices that maybe would have been done on the turning section, but because they've got the availability to do it on this pallet system, they've moved it. The productivity has flown through the roof. The runtime has flown through the roof. Instead of having day shift and night shift, they can just put the machines on and they'll run through and obviously come back in the morning and that all those parts are done. Behind us as well, tombstone technology so look at the parts on there that they've got so if you think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten twenty thirty forty fifteen pallets worth i'll let you total that up because i have not got enough time but they said these most recent investments have literally turned their business on its head the amount of pro productivity they're getting out of the machines is just unbelievable so how about this for Swarf and Chips? Obviously we've been talking about the two Matsuras with pallet systems. How much Swarf do you think that they're gonna be creating uh, whilst cutting this? So they said that they were creating three bins, three bins full of Swarf per day. And what they've got is they've got this bricketing system which come, gets all the swarf, compacts it, it releases all the coolant. So you're actually recycling coolant and saving money on coolant with this system as well. And what it does is it packs it into these uh, brickets as they're called. And what it does is it compacts it, squashes it all down. It's still a bit rough, so uh, I'm gonna watch my fingers on that. But it can create three bins of swarf for just one bin. So if you're thinking of that and you're having to change your bin every day, you can change it every three days. And I hope that was a compact Swarf and Chips.